great day today my name is Shiv and welcome back to the series where we are studying for senior fund and engineering interview questions today we're asked to build a RxJS observable in JavaScript so what is an RxJS observable well let's look into the question you're asked to implement a basic observable class that allows you to subscribe to a stream of values and receive notifications when new values are available the class should support multiple subscribers and handle errors and completion events so at a high level, an observer will return you a next method, an error method, and a complete method. The next method will return the value that you've provided. The error will provide an error value if there's an error, and the completed will just not provide any further values. Um, the above code snippet represents an observer, clearly indicating its purpose. Next, we can associate this observer with an observable. The observable dispatches the values or errors to the attached observer. So when we are creating an observable, we can specify the values that we want to subscribe to using the next method. So subscriber is subscribing to one, two, and then we're doing a set timeout where it's subscribing to three and four. And finally, after 100 milliseconds, we do the subscriber.complete, which will just complete the purpose. So let's go into a real coding example. So I've already built the observable class here because I wanted to provide a demonstration of how it works. But we'll build this in a moment. For now, I just want to showcase this uh, portion here. So we're creating a new observable. Again, we're subscribing to one, two, three, and four, and then we're completing it. So when you run this, if let's run this again. We'll just get one, two, three, and four coming in. Three and four comes in with a 100 millisecond delay. Um, but at the end, we, we run subscriber.complete and they'll complete it. Um, and then the observable is subscribing to a hello function, which is doing a console.log to whatever value that came in. In this case, the values are these uh, integers that came in. So let's build our observable class. I'm going to delete this entire thing for now. So first and foremost, we need a constructor. And then we also need a subscribe, right? Subscribe method like so. And the subscribe method provides a value. And then the constructor provides a setup function. So we'll just call this this.setup equals to set up. Now the subscriber re returns an observable itself. So we can create a variable called const subscriber wrapper equals to an object. And at the end, we'll return the subscriber wrapper like so. And we'll also call this dot setup subscriber wrapper just like so. And actually, let's call this instead of value, let's call it subscriber just like this. Now, first and foremost, we want to keep track of whether or not this is ever unsubscribed. So we'll create a property in here called un subscribed which is a boolean set to false by default then we need our next method like so so we'll call it next and next we'll just take in a value right so it'll be value like so then we also need an error which will also take in a value like so and then we need a complete which does not take any values Last but not least, we want to unsubscribe function like so. Cool. Now, first and foremost, all, all of these will be basically checking for one thing. So let's first check that out. So if we ever trigger next, we want to first check if this dot unsubscribed is true. If that is true, then we don't want to do anything forward because we're already unsubscribed. So we can just return here and then we can do the same for the error in complete states. Now for the unsubscribe state, if this is ever called, then this dot unsubscribe should be set to true because we want to unsubscribe here. Next, let's handle the error state first. So if we ever run into an error state, uh, we want to say this dot unsubscribe because we want to unsubscribe to the stream as there's already some sort of error that popped up. And then finally, we want to do a return subscriber 
dot error. As long as subscriber dot error exists, then we do subscriber dot error value. Otherwise, return null. And in fact, we want to do the same exact thing for the complete, like so. In fact, we want to also unsubscribe after you're done with everything. But you can swap out the error to say complete, like so. And complete does not take in a value, so you can get rid of the value. Uh, let's now look into our next function. So right now, we're relying on the scope of the subscriber, right? So the subscriber can return an instance of function 2. So let's check for that first. So we'll say if subscriber instance of whoops instance of function so if subscriber is ever an instance of function then we want to return subscriber value like so now if it's not an instance of function then we can kind of do what we're doing down here so we'll just return subscriber and we'll check if um, next exists if it exists then we turn subscriber.next with the value itself. Otherwise, we turn return null. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is how you go ahead and build an observable class from scratch. Now, if we run this, we should expect the same output. And we got the same output. That's pretty much it. If you guys found this video helpful, consider subscribing and pressing the like button below. And with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.